certain qualities don't change in men. Um, I feel like Travis is a narcissist, so most narcissists don't change. Well, I was disappointed that she doesn't talk before or after her shows because she has to save her voice for the 44 songs that she sings. So I was a little butthurt. I didn't get to hand her one of the bracelets I made for her. You made her. But I wanted to give Taylor Swift one with my number on it. Not right now. Your number's in 87 or your phone number? You know which one. <laughs> so it looks like Taylor Swift's new relationship already comes with a boatload of drama because her boyfriend's ex, Kayla Nicole, is dragging her for stealing Travis Kelsey away from her. Kayla and Travis were together for more than six years and she is holding Taylor 100% responsible for her failed relationship. Well, Kayla is out for revenge because she brought receipts to show that Taylor is not as innocent as she seems. You thought you were going to marry him? I did. Were you in love with him? I was. <laughs> he met my parents. I had a key to his penthouse. To me, that means that you're pretty serious. So Taylor Swift has been blowing up the news with her brand new relationship with NFL player Travis Kelsey. They've only been an item for about five minutes, but there's already a boatload of drama surrounding them. And it has to do with Travis's ex-girlfriend, Kayla Nicole. Well, Kayla feels a type of way about the relationship and it's kind of hard not to blame her. It's only been a short while since she and Travis broke up and now he's all in with Taylor. And of course that's got to sting. But to make matters worse for Kayla, Taylor Swift has this massive and passionate fan base that's already given their seal of approval to the new couple. And it just looks like everybody's so obsessed with the new relationship. But here's the thing, it's not Taylor's fault that Travis did Kayla dirty. She's just enjoying her newfound romance with a guy who seems genuinely into her. And it's not like she set out to steal anyone's man. So Travis and Kayla's past is their business. And it looks like he's treating Taylor right, which is a good thing for them. But as I said, it's easy to understand why Kayla might be feeling a bit abandoned. After all, she and Travis had a good thing for a while before they called it quits. Admittedly, their relationship has its share of on again and off again moments, but it seemed like they were on a path to make things work. Travis and Kayla first started dating sometime between November or December 2016. Probably around the same time Will and Jada became separated. But anyways, it all started when she noticed him showing some subtle interest in her on Instagram. Travis would like Kayla's photos and watch her Instagram stories, but he never took that step to sliding into her DMs. After a few weeks, Kayla decided to take matters into her own hands and slid into his DMs, asking him what's up. She's openly admitted to this, and when a fan asked her how she and Travis first met, she wrote, slid into that thing like third base. I don't know baseball, so I'm not sure that's the best analogy. Anywho, the lesson here is making the first move might be your best move. However, it didn't take long for the trouble to start because it turns out that our man Travis was still with his ex Maya when he and Kayla first started dating. Maya put him on blast on social media saying, when you and your ex broke up five months ago but you find out via social media that he's supposedly been in another relationship for six? A lot of overlapping here. She added, especially when I have texts from him from February claiming he was single. She even had an interview where she called him out for being a narcissist. Certain qualities don't change in men. Um, I feel like Travis is a narcissist. So most narcissists don't change. From all this, it's kind of clear that Travis isn't exactly known for clean breakups in his dating history. Kayla might have hinted about this side of him, but she still held out hope. They were head over heels for each other right from the get-go, and things got serious fast. Unfortunately, Kayla had to deal with a lot of unnecessary hate due to her interracial relationship with Travis, which as we all know, can stir up some unneeded drama. She spoke about the hate in a podcast saying, I could never comprehend it. It broke my heart so much, especially because I was always the girl who would stand up for black men. But all that hate they received couldn't tear them apart and their bond just continued to grow stronger. However, in 2019, just three years into their relationship, they unexpectedly called it quits. This left fans kind of shocked given how solid they appeared and many had expected them to go the distance. However, it wasn't long before they reunited in 2020 and it looked like they were in love more than ever. 
forever. Unfortunately, the second round also didn't last long and they broke up in July, shortly after a romantic vacation. This time there were rumors of Travis being unfaithful, but he firmly denied them saying, this is fake news, a lie, and not why Kayla and I broke up. Take all your hatred somewhere else, please. The insiders started to spill the tea that the real reason for the breakup was that Kayla was ready for marriage, but Travis wasn't, even though they'd been dating for about four years at the time. Travis wasn't quite on board with the whole commitment thing just yet because he still wanted to play the field a little bit more. However, the breakup didn't stick and they found themselves back together in 2020. During the holiday season, Travis dropped hints about something special in the works for Kayla, leaving fans wondering if he'd actually finally popped the question. But that didn't quite happen and the holidays just passed on by. Then in 2021, Kayla decided to nudge him towards making a public proposal. When a follower asked if she was ready to be a mom, she replied, false, but I'm ready to be a wife. <coughs> yeah, you can't get any more direct than that. But Travis didn't catch the drift or he just chose to ignore it. Then Kayla started dropping some hints that Travis wasn't exactly generous with her, saying that she could only afford to shop at Zara. She even wondered how the social media fashion girlies managed to afford their designer stuff. And fans couldn't help but raise an eyebrow considering Travis's millionaire status. Yet his girlfriend could only afford Zara. Now don't hate on Zara, okay? That's some good fashionable finds. But anyways, Travis claimed that Kayla had her own money and was independent. And Kayla also stood up for him saying, me, my man, and my $50 Zara outfit on a yacht in Tahoe, sweetie. Y'all concern is beneath me. Sources also confirmed that Travis didn't spend a lot of money on her because he was determined to make her prove that she wasn't with him for the money. Apparently, he had his suspicions because she made moves on him at first and he just still didn't trust her fully. And he kind of confirmed this saying that he never gave her more than a few hundred dollars. He said, I would never say that I was supporting her. She had a very financially stable life and what she was doing in her career. But you've got to be crazy if you think I would never help or give her a couple thousand to grab some food or she gave me some money to get some food. We were in a relationship for five years. A hundred dollars here, a hundred dollars there. Wasn't even thought about. Well, they ended up breaking up earlier this year. And although fans thought they'd get back together like before, Travis threw us all off when he revealed that they were done done. He didn't waste any time moving on either and it wasn't long before he was head over heels in love with Taylor Swift. He first sparked off romance rumors in July when he revealed that he had a crush on Taylor Swift. He revealed that he had attended a show in her heiress tour and attempted to give her a friendship bracelet with his number on it, but he couldn't get to talk to her. Well, I was disappointed that she doesn't talk before or after her shows because she has to save her voice for the 44 songs that she sings. So I was a little butthurt. I didn't get to hand her one of the bracelets I made for her. You made her. But I wanted to give Taylor Swift one with my number on it. Not right now. Your number's in 87 or your phone number? You know which one. <laughs> well, it was different this time around because while he waited for Kayla to make moves on him, he was more than eager to chase after Taylor and he went all the way in. It turns out that Taylor found his friendship bracelet thingy cute and he was eventually able to get in touch with her. They hit it off and sources revealed that they started hanging out a lot in private saying, Taylor and Travis have been quietly hanging out. She saw him when she was in New York City a few weeks ago. Ago. Well, Travis's friends were more than happy to confirm the relationship, with one of them saying, having said that, man, I think they're doing great, and I think it's all 100% true, and I hope this thing goes a mile. Travis also revealed that things were progressing nicely between him and Taylor, saying, I told her, you know, I've seen you rock the stage at Arrowhead Stadium. You might have to come see me rock the stage in Arrowhead and see which one's a little more lit, so we'll see what happens in the near future. But a couple of weeks after that, she was spotted cheering him on during a game and she was sitting right beside his mom, which means that she had already met his family. She is there. Whatever that means, she will see what we hope is a fantastic contest. Most of you will get that. Others will catch the Dallas Cowboys. Not only that, but they were also spotted leaving the game together, looking all smiles. But they didn't go home straight away because later that day, they were spotted in his convertible. So yeah, looks like things have gotten more serious between them because not only have they met each other's families, but they're now hanging out with their group friends as well. They've also been spotted going out to dinner at Nobu and even attending the SNL after party a couple of days ago. And his hands were all over 
her. Well, Travis appeared to finally confirm the dating rumors when he said, as all the attention comes, it feels like, you know, I was at the top of the world after the Super Bowl. And right now I'm even more on top of the world. You've got a lot of people that care about Taylor and for good reason. You just have to keep living and learning and enjoying the moments. Listen, y'all, it's like the whole world, including the NFL, is hooked on this fresh romance. Everybody except for Kayla Nicole, who's apparently and obviously not on board. Word from the insiders is that she's not exactly thrilled with the situation. According to the inside T, she believes she and Travis weren't totally done yet and had high hopes they'd reconcile. She feels Taylor swooped in and snatched her man away, leaving her feeling pretty betrayed, especially since Taylor promotes herself as a girl's girl. Despite it all, Kayla's still holding out hope that Travis might find his way back to her. She believes that this thing with Taylor is nothing more than a temporary distraction. Well, the streets have been talking and there are definitely some mixed comments about this. They've been saying, I, for the life of me, don't believe the Taylor relationship is real, but I don't feel bad for Kayla one bit. You ladies better start expecting what you're accepting. You allow what occurs. Something about how he barely posted her or talked about her let me know this relationship wasn't going to last. He definitely wasn't into it as much as she was. Oh well, life goes on. Find someone who really loves you, sis. And this has to be really hard for Kayla and I feel for her. I'm sure she probably feels like he's willingly giving Taylor all the things she seemed to have to beg for. But this is probably a blessing in disguise. Kayla is a catch and I hope she finds someone who will treat her like the queen she is. But what do y'all think about the situation? Do you think that Kayla was being too thirsty and that's why she's not with Kelsey? Or do you think that Kayla is just being a bitter ex? Drop your thoughts and comments below and then check out this next video.